The JP Silent Captured Spring System from JP Enterprises is our drop-in replacement for the traditional buffer and spring components of your AR platform. The SCS eliminates virtually all the friction and vibration typical of the standard buffer components, resulting in a much smoother cycling rifle with none of the rasping sound typical of those standard components. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace your current buffer components with the Silent Captured Spring, how to disassemble the SCS to swap out the operating spring for one of a different rate, and finally, some basic maintenance tips. Keep in mind that this video is meant to be a supplement to the product instructions, not a replacement for them. With your upper and lower separated, start by removing the existing buffer and spring. Hold the buffer back and compress the buffer retainer plunger with a small punch or hex key. Release the buffer slowly and remove it along with the buffer spring. Next, we recommend removing the buffer retainer and plunger before proceeding. The SCS doesn't require these parts, and the installation is made easier without them getting in the way. To remove the plunger and spring, you'll need to partially remove the buttstock and buffer tube to gain access. Now, install the SCS unit oriented this way. If you have a rifle length stock, insert the included spacer prior to the SCS. Depending on your trigger setup, you may have to depress the hammer slightly to allow enough clearance. With the SCS installed, you can now reassemble your rifle. When closing the upper assembly down, watch to make sure that the rear of the bolt carrier makes contact with the SCS buffer head. If you shake the rifle, you should not be able to feel the SCS moving back and forth. At this point, because of slightly different tolerances in buffer tubes, bolt carriers, and receivers, you might find that there is a small gap between the bolt carrier and the SCS. If so, a slight shim is all that's required. The simplest solution we've found is to install a quarter behind the SCS in the buffer tube. You should never need more than one quarter to close this gap. When you insert the plastic buffer and the SCS, you might find that the SCS protrudes slightly too far, hitting the bolt carrier and making it difficult to close the upper assembly onto the lower. If this is the case, simply take the plastic spacer to a bench grinder and gradually remove material until the SCS sits deep enough to not interfere with the bolt carrier. Next, we're going to show you how to disassemble the silent captured spring to change out the operating spring. We offer alternate rate spring packs for both the AR-15 and AR-10 versions of the SCS that allow you to tune the unit for your particular platform. You'll want to select a spring before beginning the installation, so refer to the product instructions for more specifics. Eye protection is also highly recommended for this procedure. To disassemble the SCS, begin by compressing the buffer spring and gripping the guide rod securely in a padded vise. On more recent runs of the SCS, you can retain the mass by inserting an Allen wrench in the hole in the guide rod. Now, you'll need to break down the thread lockers securing the guide rod screw. Use a propane torch or powerful heat gun on the screw while applying pressure with an Allen wrench until the thread locker yields. Once the metal is cooled, remove the SCS from the vise and then slide the buffer mass and spring off the guide rod. Be careful when releasing the spring since these parts are under about 15 pounds of pressure and will fly off if not controlled. Take a moment now to clean the guide rod's threads with lacquer thinner or another suitable solvent, and then blow them dry with compressed air. Do the same with the guide rod screw you just removed. Then, apply a small amount of Loctite 263 or equivalent thread locker to the screw's threads when you're ready. Install the new spring onto the guide rod and then compress it with the buffer mass. Once you are able, install the guide rod's screw finger tight. Resecure the SCS unit into the vise as you did earlier, and tighten the screw to about 3 to 5 foot pounds. Make sure to allow the thread locker time to cure before use. As a part of your regular rifle maintenance routine, make sure to check the tightness of the hex head screws at both ends of the silent captured spring. If they are loose, remove them, clean the threads with solvent, 
and reapply Threadlocker before installing. We also recommend periodically applying oil to the spring and guide rod of the SCS. If the unit becomes fouled, you can clean it with hot soapy water and blow dry followed by an application of light oil. We at JP hope this video has been informative to you and we thank you for your time.